first talk about flex time. Let's quantize this audio by using flex time. So let's have a listen to what this sounds like again. Let's double click on it. So it's fairly in time, but there's a lot of, there's some bits out of time as well. How we get there is press this little kind of DNA symbol, I guess. Do you want to turn on flex? Yes. So it's going to analyze the transients of the guitar track. It's going to pull this up so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. So one way to do the quantization, and if you're just doing kind of a little bit of tweaking the audio, it's fine to do it this way and probably better to do it this way because the less you move the audio, the better it will sound and obviously the more natural it will sound. As soon as we start really dragging audio a lot, it's gonna create artifacts and it's gonna sound bad. Logic has given us these lines here and that's kind of them saying, okay, on this line, I think there's a transient. I think a note is starting and it's given us an automatic flex time automatic. Usually it's pretty good with whatever they give you. But if you're doing, for example, bass, you can stick to monophonic. In our case, we can just stick to monophonic. So basically we want the transients to line up with the bars, right? So you can see this bar, this sound wave is not on the cursor where it should be. If we zoom out, it's pretty much there, but if we zoom in, it's not. So technically it is off time. Um, not a lot of people hear that, but if you want to be 100%, you could go and move those things. So what I would recommend is move things, like have a listen and see what's really out of time and then shift shift what's out of time. So having a listen. Yeah. So this stuff is a little wonky. I'm going to fix that. And then I'm just gonna fix the whatever's on the one of the bar. So like 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm gonna make sure those transients are lined up. You can do that by just like clicking. You can see how it's created this marker and I can drag it. Just shift it a bit, you see just a little bit. But that's, you can see it's shifted everything to the right. So you have to be careful when you add these bars in. So one way to do it is if you click on the top you can see it's giving you this like little icon here. But if I drag, if I go down, it's shifted to three. So it's saying like three, now it's gonna create three, it should have created three, but it only created two, I guess, cause it's, it's supposed to create three lines. There's three, I guess, cause that was at the, the beginning. So what that is gonna do is now you can use this middle line to drag that piece of that transient to wherever you like. And it's not going to affect anything to the right of it and anything to the left of it. I think in general, it looks like I was a bit early. So I'm just gonna shift the entire little track over to the right. And now technically you can see this transient should be here, but I'm not gonna really move that. I will move this one a little bit. So I'm just gonna pop that over to this little notch. 12, so I want this transient, I'm gonna put a marker there, I'm gonna move it to the right. See, it's pulled the stuff to the left uh, up until this transient. I'm gonna push that back a little bit to this notch. So what I'm doing here is like looking at the transients because they're supposed to be on where the notches are. Shift that a little bit, shift this back a bit, get on the notch, that's on the notch, that's fine. I'm gonna move that on the notch. This is just like now personal taste. 14, I want that in the notch. That's important to have the, the ones of each bar. So let's just listen to see what we kind of created here. So you can hear it in places. You can hear it here for sure. Maybe I want to take that back a bit. So maybe I was just too aggressive there with taking that. Let's go to the last bar, quantize that bar. So I want this, that second transient. Really want that to be in time, so I'm going to drag that to the notch. And because it 
when I did that is stretch those off those pieces. This is where I'm going to have to click in and just move it. Just move that transient. And that sounds much better. I can do the same for these ones. Mm. When it comes to like these big transients, it's really fine just to move the whole thing. That might sound okay. So you can still hear the edits, but there's only so much you can do when you start editing, when you start moving those transients. Put like a guitar rig on that because I don't it's not really running through any sort of amp the other way to quantize using audio is let me open this up and just turn flex time off we can start from scratch if we just want to turn flex time off again we just have to press that um, DNA little symbol. Basically, if we go up to our region here and you can see flex and follow is on, and then you have this quantize option here. So if flex time is on, we can quantize by 1 16th notes. And you can see it did that for us automatically right there. So let's see actually how that sounded like their automatic way. Let's just turn the effects off so we can hear it. Super quiet now, let me turn it up. So it's really butchered the sound of the audio. Sometimes it works, especially if your, your melody or the, your piece of audio isn't that complicated. And sometimes you can, it works and then you might just have to shift like some transients here or there a little bit. Let's now talk about pitch changes. So changing the key of a sample or of a track and then also changing the tempo of a track. So changing the BPM and how fast it is to make it fit with your song. So let's use our guitar as an example again. <laughs> 